Hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures here in Cerula Sand Safari, where I need to ask you guys a very important question. Did you guys know that Aardvark can swim? Because I had no idea that Aardvark could actually swim, and as a result, we have some escaping Aardvark in a brand new research zone that we've got. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. We don't need any of that, friend. No. No, we're good. Thank you. No. Oh, dear. All right. We've already gotten escapee. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and capture that guy and put him back where he belongs because he is actually the male who is hopefully going to be impressing our new group of aardvarks who apparently can escape. So we're going to need to go ahead and take care of that situation for sure. But welcome, my friends. So we are here at Sahula Sands taking a bit of a break from the vast horizons because there is a brand new challenge that I am doing right now called Up the Ante, where we actually only have two of my hours left to try to breed up as many silver or gold rated aardvarks as possible. It's called Up the Ante. Aardvarks are incredible animals. Did you know that they have long sticky tongues that slurp up ants and termites? Bad news for insects. Your challenge this week is to breed silver rated aardvarks. And I'm so excited because this will give us a challenge to really get into talking about how amazing termites are. And it also lets us work with one of the animals that we have not really seen in depth. We had an aardvark in Ice Ice Outpost named Radish, and then we had one named Turnip. But technically, oh no. Oh dear. Technically, those weren't actually part of... Ah! No! How... Almost! Alright, we caught one! We managed to catch one aardvark! The other one was trying to make a break for it, too. <laughs> okay, quickly, quickly. We've almost got this. I think we've almost crowded them in. Okay, and we can go ahead and move this aardvark back in. Where did your sibling go? Don't think I didn't notice that somebody else was trying to escape. So, okay, first things first, we're going to say that we have just started participating in some brand new research about aardvarks after being given several beautiful albino aardvarks that people actually found wandering in this somewhat desolated wilderness that we are still trying to restore back to a sense of natural beauty. And uh, these are very, very special aardvarks since, you know, they're all white. No one has ever seen any Anything like that and everyone is kind of interpreting it all right let's see if I can move her myself I may have really messed this up oh good I can move her myself good 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 all right but everyone's interpreting the arrival of these beautiful albino aardvarks as a great sign for the reforestation efforts that we actually need to do here in the vast horizons of Sohula Sand Safari. And I really am very excited. Oh, and Blake, you're going to need to go ahead and be released to the wild, like right away, friend, so you don't fight with everybody. But I'm really excited to dive into the Up the Ante challenge this week because we have not bred up any aardvark properly and we've not really learned a lot about them. I think we actually got all of the, yeah, we ended up getting all of the information about them in terms of like the Zoopedia, but we haven't really spent a lot of time learning about them. And because aardvarks are actually keystone species who create burrows that a ton of other animals use as their homes, I'm excited to do the Up the Ante challenge to breed the aardvarks and say that that's just what our entire zoo is dedicated to researching right now. And then as we start getting pregnant females, because aardvarks are solitary creatures, we'll actually make some new areas. We'll put down some new habitats for the pregnant females to have like privately on their own. And when this challenge is done, we'll actually remove most of the aardvarks from our zoo and we'll transform those habitats that they had into habitats for other animals to represent how aardvarks make burrows and those burrows become homes for other animals when they abandon it. So basically aardvarks are going to be a keystone species for us, creating a bunch of new homes for other animals to eventually move into. I'm pretty excited about that, but first we need to make sure that they don't escape. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. Here, let's come over and get these lovely, lovely rocks. Then we also need to make sure that our aardvarks are very happy. That's also part of the challenge here. All right, and Shy, the giraffe, We'll have to just come back to those drafts later. All right, I don't think they can actually get out. Oh, this is really clever. Yeah, I don't think they can get out over here because there's a wall. What a beautiful wall. Okay, let's put this wall down. 
And then we'll check for like more escaping points for the aardvarks. There's that. And then maybe we can throw in a couple large boulders. Just in a couple spots, just to make sure nobody nobody gets any ideas about wandering away. Here we go. And getting into trouble or anything like that. Alright. Oh! Okay, I think the aardvarks, they're either playing or fighting. We're going to find out in just a second. Alright. I don't think they can get out anymore. Is everybody here? We've got everybody here. I think we might have one of the females already trying to escape. Uh... Ma'am, are you trying to go ahead and are you trying to wiggle out of here? Are you able to climb that? Haha! -ha! All right, I think she's just kind of swimming and she's not really escaping. I love her name too, Adana. What a beautiful name for an aardvark. We might actually keep that name and we'll kind of investigate and see how things go. And then we've got Thandiwee. Um, okay, Adana did manage to escape. Curses! <laughs> okay. We're actually gonna move her right over here, if I can. Adana, there you go, all right. We're gonna move her right over here and we're gonna have to make a bigger wall. It's not gonna be pretty, friends, but sometimes you just have to move in emergency formation. All right, let's see. Maybe I can get, where's another chunk of wall? All right, let's just grab some safari stones. These guys are supposed to be breeding. I only have two hours. I didn't plan to have such a short amount of time, but I ended up going on a wonderful walk with my husband today, and I will probably, I will, I will take the walk with my husband over, <laughs> over actually coming in and, and making sure that we beat the challenge time. I will admit it. I feel a little bad now, though. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm never going to regret a walk with my husband. You should always be able to spend time with those that you love, friends. But as a result, we may not get ourselves a golden aardvark statue for Zudesia this week. And that's a pity because I really wanted to have like more statues for Zudesia since we are going to be kicking off our zoo crafting series if we already haven't done so by now. And really adding to it based on adventures that we do in a ton of the other series like this one. Because the whole, the whole crossover bit of being a pixel biologist is that we go on tons of different types of adventures. And all of those adventures teach us about different animals and different ways to enjoy the world, different stories we can really appreciate. All right, not the most elegant, but not the worst, not the worst. All right, we'll get these rocks down. And then let's see if we can get some aardvark babies, even just one aardvark baby. We might really have to go one aardvark at a time coming into the male's territory and, oh dear. And we have an injured animal that we're going to have to take care of. The inspector's here. Ah! Okay, we have a lot of injured animals we're going to have to take care of. Oh, jeez. Another escapee! All right, I've got to work on raising up this area, too. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's good to know these things. No, stop! Oh, you little, you little brat. Oh, I think we managed to, to contain her. We've got to research these aardvarks. They will say, oh, I know. We'll say that these aardvarks wandered into the big city and they were actually found rooting around inside of a bunch of bins, trying to eat out of dumpsters. And we're doing our best to teach them how to be ready for the wildlife and help them raise some healthy children so that we can get the aardvark population up in Suhula Sands. And aardvarks are really important. Like I said, they're a keystone species because of that burrow making. And I really think it's fascinating to see how so many of the species we consider vital keystone species. Um, oh dear. And now the West African lions are fighting. Okay, Kaz is the dad, I think. No, Kaz is not the dad. So Kaz, oh geez. Um, should I release him to the wild? We're just gonna release him to the wild. Let is his brother. We'll release Let to the wild. Phew. Okay, fighting lions is definitely wor worth looking into. Ira is now very old, and I think he's infertile. Because <laughs> he's so old, oh my gosh. So he's enjoying the sprinkler and probably ready to go to Bachelor Rock. But he, we need to make a new Bachelor section for the lions. We'll worry about that later. All right. And actually, I wonder, we might put some aardvarks in my extra ostrich and zebra zone. Because we don't really need them in there the ostriches and the zebras in there anymore we'll look into that let me check in on our aardvarks are they are they contained now let's see if they can escape anymore 
And I think they need some enrichment. We need to teach them about termites. And then we can go ahead. All right, where is my... Ah, here we go. All right, animal welfare. And let's look at habitat. Habitat cleanliness, traversable area. Any more escaping points? We've done it, friends! Yay! Okay, so the aardvarks are safe inside of their brand new habitat. However, they do need to have their enrichment going up. So let's remove some of the things that were actually meant for the wild dogs who may one day find themselves over here. And let's add in some enrichment for aardvarks. And then we might have to move one of the females out. And we're going to see if we can start getting some aardvark babies. Something tells me that we're not going to get very far on this challenge, but we're going to do our best. All right, it's actually food enrichment, I believe. Let's go for aardvark. All right, and let's go for blueprints off, please. Well, if we have any aardvark habit... Oh, a forging pit! Oh, that's so nice! Let's put in this forging pit for the aardvarks. That's really cool. I love how it's already surrounded by plants and trees. Oh, very nice, very nice. And then a large barrel feeder would be good for them. Polar bear enclosure, a little too complicated. Oh, a termite mound, what? What is this? This is an elephant habitat. I don't see a termite mound here. What? Okay, I don't know how that becomes a termite mound. Ah, oh, that's a little bit unfortunate because I was hoping that was actually a gigantic cool termite mound. We might have to make our own in the future. Um, animal home. All right, let's turn off the blueprints now. And there we go, the termite mound that we were looking for so that the aardvarks can have a grand time getting some of the termites that they need and want to eat. There we go. And I think we actually even have, for the sake of this challenge, I looked for some termite mounds. And sure enough, we've got some small and some large termite mounds that we can start putting down in honor of our little aardvarks. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and give these guys some names to name them after you guys. And then let's see if we can learn all about aardvarks. Are they fighting? I'm keeping an eye on them. Oh, I think they are! <gasps> wow! Maybe, maybe not? Oh my gosh, that's definitely a fight. All right, all right, hang in there. Somebody needs to go to the Trade Center for a second. There we go. All right, we've got Ivream here, and she doesn't like the plants. The temperature is a little fussy too. Are you too hot? Oh my gosh, it's 104 degrees. All right, let's check out the aardvarks. We need to prepare this land to be perfect for them so that we can try to go ahead and we can try to get some babies here. Okay, so social needs. With the, with the exception of a mother and her cub, <gasps> I didn't know aardvark babies are called cubs. I have so much to learn about them and I'm so excited to learn about them with you guys. Aardvarks are solitary in nature. They only interact when mating or competing over mates. During the mating season, male aardvarks will track females in their burrows by scent and stay with them for a few days. If and when she is receptive, he will mate with her before leaving the burrow. Males may mate with several females during the mating season. The female is pregnant for seven months before giving birth to one cub, which will remain with its mother for six months, learning how to forage and dig burrows before leaving and digging its own. They become sexually mature at two years. Oh, wow! So she's ready to have babies by two. She will continue to have babies until she passes away. She has one baby every two years and reproduces fairly easily in captivity. That's excellent. Let's assign some extra research from our wonderful, how about, hmm, wildlife vet cinnamon. Let's have wildlife vet cinnamon toss in some extra aardvark research to cross our fingers that we can get a bit of a boost for advanced research bonus for aardvarks. And then let's see if these aardvarks actually get along. Also, Princess Water the Jaguar is about to mature. Yes! We'll go ahead and release her to the wild because our jaguar research here at Sula Sands is now over too. We're shifting up to aardvarks. And to be honest, I'm kind of nervous about this, friends. I don't know if we're going to be able... If we're going to be able to get 
the aardvark babies that we are searching for. Temperature seems okay for these two. Oh, she's already pregnant. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so we actually have our first aardvark baby on the way. And we need to get that other female to get another aardvark baby. Like, incoming. Okay. All right, let's do this. We'll come back to, like, celebrating with the termite mounds in just a second. All right. Because we're basically just going to focus on having as many aardvark habitats. This is a big aardvark habitat. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see. What about this one? Let's see. That one's kind of big too. Aardvark. Oh, look at this little aardvark hideout. Okay, this is more like it. And if we have multiple aardvark hideouts, we can maybe combine them in the future to say that they dug several burrows that we could let other animals actually have as their habitats. So let's expand these. Because I like the idea that we're just kind of really giving a lot of credit to the animals for shaping the land. So the aardvarks are starting to show up and dig burrows. And that is shaping the empty expanses of land into somewhere where some of the creatures live. And to celebrate, oh, we could put a whole bunch of downed trees and termite mounds around here to celebrate, to show how there are termites all over the place from the trees that are all over here. I love that idea. All right, this is a really cool burrow because I think the idea is that there's actually a underground spot where you can see the aardvark in its burrow. But I don't know how that works. Because if I do that... I mean, huh. I don't know if that's how that's supposed to work. Let's maybe try to, huh. Yeah, let's maybe actually try to put that burrow a little higher. So we want aardvark habitat that's kind of big. Yeah, this one's kind of big and not quite the colors I want. There's aardvark bedding. Oh, cute! So the aardvark could be like inside this tree, but they actually really are, dig burrows, so we probably want to go for burrows more so. And an aardvark hideout. What's the best way to put down an aardvark hideout? Just really quickly. This? This? Over here? Huh, and then we have the same thing. Hmm. You know what? It does kind of look like a burrow though, like they dug up and into something. I will put up with that and we'll actually do like a little raised, um, a little raised path. Okay, I can live with this. I just need to go ahead and maybe edit this barrier right over here. Right here about. So that it actually turns into the one way glass and then we're gonna flip it around. There we go. And then let me edit it again. And we're gonna lower this somewhat. Boom. We can kind of tweak that uh, so that it, it looks a little bit better. But okay, nice. And then we just need to put down some paths really quickly and I'll change some other things about it. We'll say that this was just really cheap construction. Somebody just like ran up and they were like, oh my gosh, the art works. They've actually decided to have a little home here. And in their, in their rush, it's not quite as elegant as it could be. All right. And then, actually, is this close enough? Can people see the aardvarks from here? They can! Okay, that'll totally work. And then we'll go ahead and do like a little path right here. The reticulina giraffe is having offspring. Oh, how fun. Normally I would definitely stop for like giraffe offspring, but we're busy. We've got more aardvark babies to go ahead and have. All right, that connects up. Nice! Sometimes, even though it's exceptionally chaotic, I don't mind, like, our zoos becoming just kind of terrifying and messy like this. <laughs> because we'll come back and we'll fix it later. Now that I'm streaming more on Twitch and hopefully going to be able to keep that up, thanks mostly to the amazing support of our patrons, to be honest. Um, now that we're doing that... Hopefully we'll have more chance to come back and like fix our zoos. But all right, let's go ahead and we're gonna get another one of the female aardvarks over here. Let's open this into a new work zone. All right, staff, 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 work zone, work zone, work zone. Mud flats, mud flats, boom. And we have more female aardvarks that were actually collected from the wild right over here. 
And we have one male who is their brother. And then we have a female over here. They, they are from the same place. And we have another female over here. So we're gonna come and get this female. And we'll put her down in here. There we go. And then let's move the male. All right, we're actually gonna move the male aardvark right over here. Oh, and then while they're doing that, we'll come in and we will put down some, some barrier rocks really quickly. Because I know what's coming next. Immediate escape. Here we go. Yeah, I know, I know where she's gonna try to go. They're gonna try to escape again because they remember how delicious it was to be able to eat food out of the trash bins that people left out. And they no longer have to do that. They can find all of the insects that they ever desire here in the safari. We'll add in a bunch of downed trees. We'll make this really nice and comfy for them. Why? We're not gonna question why it's so easy for the aardvarks to just immediately run away. There we go. And we've got another new female. Oh, and one of our African wild dogs is about to die of old age. Oh, we really need to take care of that pack at some point. Once we're done with challenges, which will be very soon for you guys and very, very soon for me, then we'll switch over to that for sure. All right, there we go. We've got another female in here. I believe the male is being moved over right now. We definitely need to have another keeper in here to take care of everything. How's she doing? She wants more hard shelter. Does this count as hard shelter? I'm hoping this counts as hard shelter. And her social. Oh, this is actually a little small for her. Oh, so it's going to be really small when we add another male. Yeah, now it's really small, but we'll go ahead and see if this is enough space for them to be able to mate. So, hmm. Yes, space is a little bit of a critical issue. But we'll give this, we'll give this a minute. We'll give this a minute and see if they're going to just be like, why, hello. We only interact when it's time to mate. So let's just, uh, let's just go into this burrow and see what's going on. Hmm. We'll go ahead and see what happens there. And this is fun because as we spread these aardvark burrows and habitats, we will eventually take the aardvarks out, like I said, and it'll be really cool to see how the other animals will wander around in a place that we originally shaped for the aardvark. That's fine. And we can connect up other areas because this is kind of small. The next one we'll try to do like a couple spaces for. But all right. So let's do a couple things before we go. Let's get another art or another keeper in here to help take care of our aardvarks. And this is going to be another one of our fantastic patrons who make all of these adventures and the adventures over on our Twitch possible. And this one is going to be a termite expert to help us out with the aardvarks. This is gonna be a termite expert. Dun, 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 dun. Vir Etan, Viratan, there we go. Welcome, welcome, my friend. You are now going to be assigned to the mud flats. We're gonna start training you up and hopefully you'll take good care of our little aardvarks. Meanwhile, can we finish off with our aardvark giving birth? Let's actually check on her. She needs more feeders for her food type. I would have sworn that she would use... Huh. I would have sworn that she would be fine using one of the other... Like, one of the mini termite mounds we put down in here. But if that's not the case... Feeders. I would think that that would be enough. Whoa! And the... Oh, the dung beetles! Alright, we have chaos with the dung beetles. Hang on. Let me go ahead and try to clean this up a little bit. There we go. All right. I, I do love the, the dung beetles, AKA the giant burrowing cockroaches that we have. Okay. Is she happy now? Oh, look at that. She's happy now. And she's about to give birth. Yes, you guys. Okay. I love being able to officially get our, our fingers into the challenge. We're gonna have to see if we can maybe expand the space for this aardvark since unfortunately it ended up being a little smaller than we thought. Next time we'll definitely expand the burrow ourselves. Uh, it might be kind of fun to have her dig an expansion. Yes, we'll expand this ourselves but we'll make like a burrow and kind of dig it down. And I think it'd be really cool if we can come back here and maybe manipulate the area enough to make a path so people could walk down here and eventually we could even make it look like you could see the aardvark babies or like the aardvark burrows. All right, we'll work with that. 
part of the fun for me of these challenges is being able to find really cute and fun ways that we can actually try and we'll move this over here so we can see that we can actually try to go ahead and change our world to fit the rush of the challenge it's like it's like tossing a bunch of dice down and just making a big mess and seeing what you can do with it as quickly as possible all right my dear are you ready to have your baby because i'm ready for you to have your baby and we'll start pulling up some names from our wonderful name list with all of you guys on it whoa and we'll start seeing oh the jaguars are fighting not good all right all right all right we can actually release all of the jaguars so the princesses are going to get out of here nice that's a lot of a lot of experience that in route sadie the ostrich is stressed well sadie good news you don't need to be there we go and oh, the aardvarks are mating yes 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 wonderful so that actually does put us quite far on the challenge is she she's not pregnant oh no all right hopefully that will be fixed soon <laughs> and we'll have we'll have some babies soon and speaking of babies i think it's finally time we're finally gonna have our very first aardvark baby which is apparently called a cub. So there is another new aardvarky thing for us to learn for the day. We'll have to go ahead and get another one of our fantastic patrons in as a educator in just a little bit here. And Alexander the African Bull, I know what you're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and release you immediately, friend. Because you are not fighting with your dad. There we go. Okay. All right, baby, 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 baby. We've got a little baby on the way. This will be enough to at least get us a, a participation medal in, in zoo crafting. I want to start a hall of fame for like achievements and challenges that we have done in all of our zoos in zoo crafting. And I want to do one that like a hall of fame that we'll have for when we win these challenges or participate in them in Planet Zoo. All right, come on, baby, baby, baby. There's, there's zebra babies being born. Come on, come on, any minute now. Any minute now. Oh yay, all right, it says we have already gone ahead and we have participated in the challenge. She just hasn't like given birth yet. Is this the moment? Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> and there we go. We have a little tiny baby aardvark. And to be honest, I didn't expect it to look like this. It literally looks like something out of Star Wars. I just have not seen very many aardvarks. <laughs> look at that. All right, friends. Well, this little baby is our very first birth. And she is going to be called Lori. After Lori Leatherwood. Thank you so much for leaving such fun comments on our previous videos. And I actually have a very fancy like graphics computer that Chips built for me. I don't know what it, pieces went together to create it, but I can recommend getting a lot of RAM and a great graphics card. So I hope that answers your question as well. But all right, we'll name our aardvarks. We're going to be getting in some celebratory termite mounds in celebration of the aardvarks as well. We'll add in some keepers, some down trees, and see just how far we can try to make it with only a couple hours left on this challenge next time, my friends. So all right, let's do this. I hope you guys are ready to think to all about tunnels and termites, and I will see you all next time. Stay curious, guys. Bye-bye.